Oh, look, I got a new office. I moved from over there to over here. Look at that. And I have all this space. So as you can see, I've been relocated across the room, across the hall, I guess you could say. Not sure why I got relocated, but it's all right. So now I have my laptop here, my two monitors. Um, I have a big window in front of me, depending on where we are situated for my work days. I can look out that window or the side window as well. Um, everything is, all the wires and everything are hidden behind there, big peeve of my handyman. Um, and I have plenty of room underneath here for legs and my legs, I only have two, but, um, and if I want, I eventually may remove some of Gadget Boy's items from underneath there um, and do some of my own um, storage. But yeah, so it's working out well. Um, you know, the, got the chair. If we ever decide that we want to eat here, we can sit side by side, like we're in a restaurant, fancy restaurant, side by side eating. Or if we want to, um, you know, if we're ever gonna entertain, we could also get rid of all this stuff and put food out here or prep food or do whatever we want with this space. Um, and I also came up with another idea when one of my sons said, well, where would we sleep when we came um, to visit? And I said, we can move this chair out and they could put a, an air mattress down there. There's plenty of room for everyone. So um, yeah, and it almost seems as though we have a little bit more room uh, when you're walking by because you don't have the table um, sticking out or the chairs. So just seems a little cleaner. Um, and you know, I think Scotty did a good job and I'm working on my list of things to do for him next. So stay tuned for that. And so we didn't use the um, monitor arms like this over here so that we can just quickly disconnect these monitors and stuff the cables back down there and then have that as an eating space again. And we can actually put almost like three chairs there if we really wanted to. So it'd be like uh, eating at a diner. Right, <laughs> we could have drinks. We could have, we could have shots, we could line up shots. All right, let me show you how we did it. <laughs> All right, this video is going to be a little bit all over the place because I didn't do much videoing when I was actually doing the work. So let me just get started by telling you what I did. All right, so here is a quick anatomy of where the slide out dinette table was and the back bookshelf, if you will. So right along here, they had a piece of one by one screwed in a couple of places and then stapled to the back or the bottom of the bookshelf, if you will. And then staples were coming through here, cut myself, um, and they're coming up here. So you're gonna have to kind of, I use this tool to kind of come in and separate that. There's screws from underneath here that you can take off to loosen that up one there too and that's it and also just use one of these to kind of pry this out you'll have to move this well out of the way in order to bang that board up and then i just bang these staples back down i'll bang those down and i'm just going to lay the board back on top or the new desktop on top and i'll screw these in i'll probably have to get a new piece of one by for here uh, because if you look at this this is how it was put in. This wasn't for me removing it. And you can see that they had this little one buys here as well. I couldn't get at that screw, um, but actually didn't need to. And yeah, so that's all there is to it was I think one screw here, which was on the far side way over here. There you go. Well, look at that. I got it all the way flush to this side. 
but of course it is that much too long so not a problem I have a little four inch circular saw and a fully charged battery and a t-square and uh, I will just take off a little bit of that wish I had known that before I thought it was going to be perfect but you know measure twice cut once kind of thing um, yeah not a big deal right the lighting is going to be a little harsh out here but so obviously to access the bottom of that shelf you come into the underneath of where the TV is um, if you didn't know this is a 39 RK FB um, so what I did is um, had to take off these screws to get it off of that shelf and uh, you'll notice that I didn't put these back in the reason for that is is I started to put one back in and because this uh, new desktop had a little bit of a bow to it it kind of sucked up into it and then started pulling it down and then the screws actually went through the top of the desktop um, I caught that before it did to all of them so I just left those kind of out a little bit they're holding it in there tight enough but as you see th there is a gap and I filled that in with the uh, caulking as you saw and then up here was where that one by one was and um, it was actually screwed in from the face into the rig here so in this hole here was um, already uh, put in by the manufacturer and I just happened to have that um, plastic um, grommet if you will to for the wires to come through um, so I just you know double sided taped the um, the hub to the wall here and the power supplies for the monitor and then down below here um, I just put in a outlet extender slash surge protector and then uh, you know this all closes back up and it's fine. Uh, you might notice that I disconnected the speakers from the TV um, just because I don't use those speakers. I barely use this TV actually. So that's uh, what we did there. It was pretty simple to do. All right, here's the bottom of the finished product. As you can see, here's the caulking that I put in to seal that gap up. And these are the brackets I use. These are a little kind of in the closet industrial looking. Um, Home Depot does have a wooden version that's a little bit more homey. I'll put a picture of them here. In retrospect, I probably should have used those, but they didn't have enough in stock when I was there. Uh, I may swap them out. So what I used here is a number 12 5 8 screw. Uh, the desktop is 3 quarters of an inch. You lose an eighth on this bracket, so those are short enough so that they don't poke through. On the verticals here, these are number 12, one inch to get a little bit of extra bite. Over here is where the dinette was. Uh, there was a few holes here. I just filled them in, sanded them down, and then I painted this whole thing uh, with an enamel uh, high gloss, which is very scuff resistant. So if you're kicking your feet down here and stuff like that, very clean. I may actually paint the rest of the place with that. Um, so yeah, I put four total of four brackets in. So these are really, I think these are all rated for like a uh, hundred pounds or something like that. So this will support theoretically 400 pounds. The wooden brackets, I think were rated at 75 each. So that would be like 300 pounds of support, which is certainly more than you would need. Um, so yeah, when we want, we can um, take that dinette, put it back in, just remove all this, put the dinette back in, put that, regular shelf back in and we'd be good to go all right that's all there is to it i did leave this bracket in just uh, because i didn't want to lose it here is the finished product as you can see the desktop is in uh, basically remove the dinette i think there were like six screws to that it came out very easily we put that in storage in case we ever want to put it back in obviously there was a shelf there that we removed you'll notice that this desktop is radius here squared on there radius here and squared in that corner there and how did I do that well all I did is I ordered this desktop from my dealer um, as an exact replacement for this and I just flipped it upside down um, unfortunately when this came in the bottom side was not finished I thought it would be um, because this one was when I felt under there um, but it wasn't and it also came in slightly darker it was the wrong color so what I used is some 80 grit to take the color off and then um, I think I went to a 180 or a 220 grit 
to just smooth it down. And then we actually took the dinette and we brought it to Home Depot to match it up to the stains that were on the shelf. And we saw that the natural matched up pretty well. There was another one called Ipswich, which is just a little bit darker, which I think might have matched up better to this. Uh, but this may have just darkened up due to age. So basically what I did is I hit it with um, a couple of coats of that stain and then four coats of water-based poly. And that came out really nice. Um, I did have to, and I think I showed in another section of the video, this was actually a little longer, so it overlapped here. So I did have to um, just take off, I think about an inch off of this side, not a big deal. It was pretty easy to do. Oh, the other thing that I forgot to mention is that this desktop, we ordered it from our dealer and it was just about $300, but the shipping was almost $300 as well. Um, it was done as freight, which turned out to be very expensive. Um, UPS handed it off to a freight handler, less than load, some such foolishness. We didn't know what the shipping was gonna be until it was too late. So um, we just kind of took our lumps with that. In retrospect, it probably would have been better to try to arrange to pick it up from the factory if we were going by there. But, you know, who knows? One way or the other, it's gonna cost you something to get it. Um, you might luck out, have your dealer, um, you know, order it for you, and maybe the factory ships it in a rig that they're taking delivery on. So, you know, covers the shipping that way, who knows? But yeah, just wanted to point that out. Be careful of the shipping. Uh, 300 bucks plus another 300 for shipping. So yeah, it sounds ridiculous, but it's a big package, it's heavy, and they treat it as freight. It came on a pallet. So not much I could do about that. All right, well, that was a cobbled together mess of video, wasn't it? But I did warn you at the beginning. I'm sorry about that. I do think I conveyed most of the information pretty well, though. If not, you can always message me or leave a comment down below and I'll do my best to answer. I'm almost embarrassed to ask, but if you did like this video, please give it a thumbs up. If you like this kind of content in general, please subscribe to the channel. And if you think anybody else will get value from this video, please share it out to them. Also, if you have any comments about anything else or you got suggestions or ideas, things you want me to cover, please leave that in the comments down below and I'll do my best to put something together for you. Thanks again for subscribing and watching. Take care. I hope to see you again. Thank you.